afternoon everybody, what is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user review, we're going to be taking a look at the Mayano Caster. This is the all-in-one starter bundle kit for podcasting. It comes with your AUAM200 interface. It also comes with one XLR to USB cable with tabletop stand. So uh, before we begin, let's start by saying, no, Mayano is not paying me to say anything positive, nor is anyone paying me anything to say anything negative about this product. I have been working with Mayano for a few products now, so they did send me this for free for my review. Um, so all of the statements I will be making are mine and mine alone. Again, not being paid to say anything positive or negative about this product. Now let's begin by cracking open this box and seeing what's inside. Inside we have the AU AM200 unit itself, XLR to eighth inch input, our microphone, tabletop stand. We have two little boxes that include the rest of our cables, which are three eighth inch to eighth inch cables, a USB-A to USB-C cable. Okay, so I got a little bit extra going on here. There's a camera right here filming the actual unit. I'm running directly into Adobe Audition, and I'm doing a quick time screen recording so you can actually see the VU meters. The audio that you're hearing right now is coming from this microphone here. Now I am hearing in my headphones a little bit of interference. It's not my cell phone. I put it all the way off to the side over here, so it's not in my pocket. But I kept, uh, I did, I had it across the room before. It wasn't making a difference. Now, a quick overview of this board. We have our monitor which you're not going to hear any difference. That is literally just the monitoring, so just the headphones on my head. Uh, we have our record level here. So if I get a little bit closer to the mic, you can see and hear the difference of my voice right now. So if I crack that up a little bit, you can see now I'm peaked, I'm all the way up. I can also roll that back down. And as I roll it, you can see the view meters disappearing. And now you can only hear me through the boom mic on top of the camera. So we're gonna roll that back up. Um, this mic is not super, super sensitive, so I'm actually putting this pretty high. I can see the VU meter, so I know I'm not peaking on the actual computer. I mean, I can max it, and I'm still pretty good, especially when I sit back and talk. Um, you could definitely hear the difference in my voice. Now, we do have a little bit of an EQ here. I did play with that a little bit, so I feel like that's where I wanna be right now. Now, in addition to that, we have our pitch. I don't bump the mic. I can now sound like a female. Well, kind of like a digital female, but hey, it's a uh, that was that was most weird. That hey, okay, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Now I can sound uh, super deep in voice. Uh, this is uh, interesting. Okay, uh, now I feel like Barney Stinson hitting on women as a child in How I Met Your Mother. And, uh, I think without the little, uh, digital echo in the background, this sounds more like a deep manly voice than a man voice. And we could just completely go back around, man. We hit the effects and it turns it off. Now we're in pro, which I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what the pro mode is. Pop, pop. Okay, I see. It's, it's changing the EQ a little bit here. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound any different. Just the pro. The, okay. Oh, that sounds a little bit flatter. All right, so I think I liked the pop. It actually sounded a little bit better. Pro, again. I don't know if you're hearing this come through or if that's just in the monitor, but this mode is called pro. This mode is called pop. This mode is called MC. And this is original, which is just a little bit flatter. So I'm going to go back back to pop. Now we can also do, there's loops, there's the music only, which I don't have any music. I don't have any music connected right now. Now we do have a few cheesy effects built in. Can you feel it? Nice 1950s laugh track. That one's really loud. 
That's called awkward, but it's just crows. Ow! Some, some like, 1950s slapstick comedy? <laughs> and the reading rainbow. Alright, we also have a record level here, which I think is doing more for these tracks that it's actually doing for my voice. The mic is uh, seems to be what's going a little bit, uh, which is working actually for my, my microphone. I don't think the Record Max is working too. I can see it peaking. You can see it peaks up there, but it's not peaking on screen. So I think that's more for the effects tracks than the mic. Now there's an echo. I can add a little bit more echo into my voice. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually would like a little bit echo, just a tiny bit, and a little bit of chorus. Where is it? There's a sweet spot when I am have my PA set up. I just had a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of echo and a little bit of chorus in there. It uh, makes me just sound so much better. All right, so the, uh, the user interface, it is fairly, I'm going to just turn that off. It's fairly simple. We also have I don't know if this is changing my pitch or my tone. So let's. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that's definitely that's definitely changing changing my voice a little bit. Not terrible, but yep. Um, okay. All right, I'm gonna come all the way around. Yep. I don't know if you're hearing this. It's saying the the. I don't know if it's telling me, but it's now I'm in A flat major, so it's saying A major, E B flat, B major, C major, D flat, D major, E flat, E major, F, G flat, G major, um, A flat. Uh, I don't know if it was coming through, but it can change. I sound completely different now. Let me see. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it did. When I use the effects key, it actually changed, it turned off the electron. So that's interesting. Now, there is an internal battery inside this unit. It is charging off my laptop right now. Uh, so if I do unplug this from my laptop, the unit will still, uh, it'll still stay on. There's a power switch on the back, which I will show you um, in the inputs. But you need a device, you need a DAW you need to connect it to something. This can connect to um, your phone. That's why it came with, it's a USB-C, it came with a USB-C to USB output. That's how I'm running it directly. You can use any adapters uh, depending upon which phone you're using and you just have to use a phone app. So you need something to capture the sound on. So this is, this AU, what is it? AUAM200 is the interface, but it does not, there's no, there's no recording on here. And then across the whole back, we have our USB-C. This is the output. This is how I ran USB-C to USB directly into my MacBook Pro to record in Adobe Audition. And then we have these four outputs here for different podcasting devices. This is what you would run the included four eighth inch to eighth inch cables. You can connect these out here and use these to record into different audio recording devices. And then we also have our headphone jack, which is obviously where I had my headphones run into. Um, then we have both mic one and mic two. So you can use two, you can connect two microphones to this device. Now, yes, the inputs for the AUAM200 are eighth inch. In the microphone it came with is an XLR output. So the cable that included was XLR to one eighth inch. So if you want to run a second microphone, you're going to either need to get an XLR to eighth inch input, or you can use something like these. These are, this one's a little imp, this one's unbranded. I've had these for years. What these do is take an XLR cable and drop it down to, in this case, these are both quarter inch, but they also came with quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. So I could take one of these, plug in an existing microphone I have, like my uh, Shure SM58, use an XLR cable, connect this to the end of the XLR, put the uh, eighth inch adapter on here and plug it in, boom, I got two mics. 
So you can go either route if you want to expand it to do a podcast. Future Jeff here. So I'm listening back, I've edited, and I'm not completely happy with the microphone that was included in the starter kit. Yes, it is a starter kit, so the microphone that's included, that's not the best. It's more about the actual interface unit itself. So I would definitely upgrade to a better microphone. I was not happy with the sound of the microphone, especially in the beginning. It sounded very choppy and tinny up front, even listening back. So I would definitely say, upgrade your microphone. Now back to Jeff from early, early this morning. Overall, I mean, the audio of the uh, AUAM200, it sounded pretty good. I did hear a little bit of interference, no matter if my phone was next to me, my phone was in my pocket, my phone was across the room, I was hearing the same interference. I don't know if it's totally coming through on your end once all the audio is compressed. Now the audio you heard was directly recorded into Adobe Audition. Uh, I didn't do anything else to it. I want you to hear the raw audio, how it sounds. Again, once it's compressed and uploaded to YouTube, it might sound a little bit different, so you might not hear some of the tin sound, which is what happened with one of my other Mayano microphones. It, listening back, for me, I had a little bit of a tinny sound to it, but once I exported and uploaded to YouTube, it got compressed and you couldn't really hear it, so it kind of, I don't, I don't want to say it went away. I'm sure it was still, it was definitely still there, but it definitely got a little bit lost in the mix once it was, everything was compressed into one file for an MP4 and then uploaded to YouTube and YouTube compressed it a little bit more. So some of that interference might come out. Um, it's kind of fun to play with. The effects are pretty fun. Uh, the pitch shifting I really liked, uh, sounding like a lady, a baby, and a robot. Uh, I thought the robot sounded more like a man than the man voice, but uh, I like it. It's pretty It's pretty interesting. I actually have an upcoming project where I'm probably going to put this uh, to use. Uh, I doubt I'm really ever going to use these sound effects. They're not that great. So maybe Mayano and some updates, maybe put some different sound effects in there. But other than that, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little unit. It's light. It's a plastic construction, so I would be a little careful uh, what you're doing with it. I would uh, maybe put it inside a, a little padded bag. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's good. I, I, I like it. I got a couple projects that I'm going to use this on coming up. So uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up review once I get some real... Uh, some real projects running through this instead of just testing it. So uh, yeah, so stay tuned. If you like this video or any other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. <laughs>